Japan has announced it will release more than a million cubic meters of treated radioactive water from the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant into the Pacific Ocean. Crowds gathered outside Prime Minister Suga's office in Tokyo to protest against the decision. Joining us for more is our energy reporter, Stephen Stepchinski. Stephen, a million cubic meters of this treated water, that's enough to fill more than 500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. That's a lot. Tell us about the plan and what we expect to happen. The government's going to now allow for the next two years to provide a process for them to decide exactly how to dispose of the water into the ocean. So it's not going to happen for another two more years, but it will. once they do decide on the process, it will probably take decades from there for them to start and begin and, and, and process all that water into the ocean because it must be diluted uh, over a period and it, to come up to basically international standards. Um, on top of that, uh, TEPCO over this entire process will also have to repurify all of the water that's on the site. So the U.S. State Department has come out to say that Japan's move is in line with global standards. What is the international standard? I mean, is it really okay for marine life and for us humans? So the tritium that remains in the water that TEPCO is having difficulty removing is something that's actually regularly released around the world. There are standards for releasing in a controlled manner tritium on a diluted state into the ocean. It happens in the United States and it also actually happens in South Korea and China, two countries that actually have been quite critical of Japan's plan to release this water. Now, the amount of water that TEPCO is going to be releasing is much more than a normal release. So during normal operations of a nuclear power plant, they could release you know hundreds of cubic meters of water, but now we're talking about over a million. 1.25 million cubic meters to be exact at Fukushima that must be treated, diluted, and released. As you know, it's been a pretty hotly debated topic here with opposition, right, from both the fisheries industry and locals. I heard firsthand on my reporting trips uh, them telling me about their concerns. Are there any other options besides releasing this treated water into the sea? So there are a few options. W one, the the, the most normal option in the industry, of course, is releasing it into the sea, but there's also the evaporation option. They could evaporate it into the atmosphere, but studies have shown that, that the government has done, and as well as talking to specialists within international nuclear bodies, that potentially a evaporation release isn't necessarily the safest thing to do either. It could lead to a much wider spread of the tritium tainted water. Another thing that you could do is just store it. You could potentially pump it underground into larger storage areas. That is potentially expensive. You have to find an, a, a ground to do that. There are very few towns or areas that want to store um, this type of water. So that's also a difficult option. And then another thing is a deep sea release where you are still releasing into the ocean, but you pipe it much farther in into the sea and at a much lower area through uh, a, a, a sort of complicated systems that would allow for it to be much more off the shore, not immediately where the fishing is happening off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture. So if we really can do this in a safe manner, is it more about the concern of reputation that people may not want to buy any fish from Fukushima? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, what the government has done is, and they've talked to international folks to figure out a way to safely do this. So safety, at least in the minds of the nuclear community abroad and within Japan, isn't the biggest issue. The biggest issue is reputational risk. Clearly, the the fisher, the fishing community within within Fukushima Prefecture is worried that when you say that you're selling a fish that comes from the coast of Fukushima, no one's going to want to buy it, and that's going to be an issue.